Hello, I'm Officer Washington with the St. Louis County Police Department's Public Information Office. This critical incident briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on December 7th, 2022 at 13857 Riverport Drive in the city of Maryland Heights, Missouri. As part of our commitment to transparency, we will show you relevant video footage, evidence, and the law enforcement response to this incident. Because this investigation is still active, our goal is to provide you with a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know up to this point. The St. Louis County Police Department conducts thorough use of force investigations, which typically require detectives to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. This portrayal is not intended to draw any conclusions about whether the officers involved acted consistent with their department's policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is finalized. Investigations involving uses of force could take several months to complete. A word of caution. The images you're about to see may be disturbing and you may hear strong or coarse language. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or to defend themselves or innocent victims against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. I'm Sergeant Tracy Panis, Public Information Office Supervisor. On Wednesday, December 7th, 2022, the St. Louis County Police Bureau of Crimes Against Persons was requested by the Maryland Heights Police Department to conduct an investigation into an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the city of Maryland Heights, leaving one suspect deceased. At approximately 2.02 p.m., detectives from the Maryland Heights Police Department were searching for a suspect identified as Mark Davenport, wanted in connection with several criminal incidents in various area jurisdictions. Detectives were also searching for a white Chevrolet Silverado that had been spray painted black. The search continued for about two hours when a tip led detectives to an area hotel in the 13,700 block of Riverport Drive. Mr. Davenport's vehicle was located in that same area. The tip indicated Mr. Davenport made statements that he would not go back to jail. At approximately 4.18 p.m., detectives wearing vests identifying them as police officers observed Mr. Davenport exit a business in the 13,800 block of Riverport Drive. As Mr. Davenport walked to the parking lot, he was approached by detectives and given verbal commands in an attempt to take him into custody. Mr. Davenport refused to comply with the commands. He instead charged at the detectives with an edged weapon in his hand while stating that detectives would have to shoot him. At 4.19 p.m., one detective fired his department-issued firearm, striking Mr. Davenport. Officers immediately rendered aid, and Mr. Davenport was transported to an area hospital. You are about to hear relevant police radio traffic of the Maryland Heights police officer's response to the incident just described. Attention car seat, Charles County is behind a white Chevy Silverado. It's been painted black, occupied by a Mark David Davenport white male. The left front tire is down, it's on a rim. He's armed and dangerous. Several numerous felony charges. I have not ran him. The one we plate, 140914, 140914. He's from 70 from the chat. They are no longer in pursuit. This vehicle fled from St. Louis City earlier today. This information from St. Charles County, Fort Snowshoe. 6248. The white Chevy Silverado has been painted black, Illinois 140914. 140914. 10-4, I'm in the area. 71 he's armed and dangerous, resisting arrest, felony out of Overland, St. Louis City, felony, felony out of U City, St. Louis County. Some other city charges. Burglary second, felony. 248, I'm clear. 8209, I'm clear. Well, you know, so, uh, the city officer called back, stated that he was in the area of. He does have a knife on him, and he also stated that if he was confronted by police, he would kill himself. 8209, I'm clear. 5250. 5250. I have the truck. Uh, I can't see if it's occupied right now. 
we're behind the new construction that's going on right at Riverport North and Riverport Lane. Uh, between that building and just 3251 Riverport Lane. 343, I'm with them. 250 has the truck, Riverport North, Riverport Lane, 3251, Riverport Lane, 1443, what's cars with him? 343. Vehicles unoccupied. 5250. 5250. I'm with one of the construction workers. Uh, his last direction to travel would be westbound between the buildings of and these buildings on Riverport South. But that's the last direction we have. So uh, he could have wind his way through these buildings. We don't know where he's at right now. How far westbound area of Riverport South? 5250. 5250. Am I clear to give you the plate on this truck? How far behind? Illinois v. Boston, 1401914. 1401914, Illinois v. Boston. I'm for 1449. Oh, yeah, it's just been six days. Information from the St. Charles County. He is armed with razor blades. They have an officer on route for the vehicle. 222, he's on the west side of the walk and south with a black backpack. He's in blue jeans. Ground deployed. Ground deployed, 618. 317, 222. 238, hold track. We need more units here right now. 24, officer. All right, he's front entrance. 238, shots fired, subject down. The shots have been fired, subject down. 1619. 238, we need a bus, J1. 247. There you go, 247. All right, suspect's down, gunshot wound. Still breathing. We need an ambulance. J1. Now you will see relevant dash camera video footage from the Maryland Heights Police Department, as well as security footage from an area business related to this incident. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Despite the work of first responders and medical staff, Mr. Mark Davenport, age 48, of the 400 block of Landing Lane in Rolla, Missouri, later died of his injuries at an area hospital. An edged weapon attributed to Mr. Davenport was located near him on the scene. In total, one shot was fired by law enforcement. The Maryland Heights police officer involved in this incident is 46 years of age with 14 years of law enforcement experience. No officers were injured in this incident. The St. Louis County Police Department has all of its non-sensitive policies and procedures available on our website, www.stlouiscountypolice.com. The policies applicable to this incident and release of information are General Order 
public information and news media policy. The St. Louis County Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident for as long as it might take. Detectives will continue to interview any new witnesses that may come forward and document and analyze new evidence that is discovered. After the investigation is complete, the findings will be forwarded to the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office for an independent review. Thank you for taking time to view this critical incident briefing.